Alrighty, so I'm continuing to make this series of videos which are uh, aimed at characterizing the uh, features and functionality of some of the new devices that have arrived in the lab here. And uh, this time we're going to look at the um, temperature controlled uh, oscillator within the Hack RF Porta Pack. And um, we have that running uh, currently. It's outputting from this uh, output jack here and running into the scope through a 50 ohm terminator. And you can see we're getting a 10 megahertz signal out there um, at a 49% duty cycle. Um, it's actually a uh, DC offset signal, so starting at zero volts and running up to one volt. So it's a one volt square wave. Um, that's what it looks like at uh, 10 megahertz fixed. So that's kind of convenient that they've uh, added that to the porta pack. Um, this is the device that I'm referring to. I picked up on AliExpress. And um, here's what they mention in their um, specification um, description. Where they, in red there, they've mentioned upgraded crystal oscillator. It's a 10 megahertz um, temperature controlled oscillator, Fox 5070 crystal oscillator. So um, that's what we're looking at. And um, it's a nice feature to have. And turning that on, um, let's see, we'll turn it off and we'll, I'll show you how to navigate to that. So um, you back up to the main screen, just click on settings, go to radio, and it brings up this screen where you can enable. Right now you can see, whoops, that's, let's see, is the scope? Yeah, um, it's off, so I enable it by clicking that checkbox, and uh, there we see the the square wave. I've actually got the scope in an averaging mode, that's why it's rising so slowly. Let me turn that off. Yeah, since the, um, there's a little bit of noise, so that jumps around at the 10 megahertz um, frequency reported by the scope, but if you do some averaging, you'll see that it's rock solid at 10 megahertz. So um, that's the feature that they've added to this uh, Porta Pack. H2M is the model number. I'll show that again from HamGeek. And um, seems to work rather nicely. So you can connect this output port here to other devices to sync up on a temperature controlled clock. Alrighty, thanks for watching.